day two of impatient now you can see the dog had actually a lot of pass from the vagina but uh, it's not obvious now but you can see some clumps here but uh, the diagnosis was closed from metra and there was milk inside the with the milk you can see the milk so normally this happens uh, the milk appears hold the leg first appears about four weeks to six weeks after the heat so there's false pregnancy as well as Pymetra, but yesterday there was no pass so the diagnosis was closed pymetra now we check the the gums uh, we open up the, the eyelids eyelids the complaint was three days not eating and drink uh, vomiting okay we just check the eyelids slowly now let's see whether any uh, anemia or not let's open up a bit here yeah. Today it looks redder because I have given drips. We'll check the gums and see. Gums are uh, a bit pinker now after the one bottle IV drips. And it's definitely the B12 given, it definitely much pinker now. Huh? See the other side, was there a swelling? On the right right face there's a swelling. So we check and see whether the carnasal tooth is uh, uh, just open up a bit. Open some more. Carnesa tooth is uh, okay. Wait, I, I can see them. Eh? Is is there any abscess or not? Yeah, doesn't doesn't look like it. Huh? Okay, so now we look at the blood test. Okay, you hold the, the camera. We look at the blood test results, which I will explain now. The blood test was taken yesterday when the dog was uh, came in. Huh? And you can see from the blood test results that that uh, there's a severe bacterial infection. Now. The total white cell count is 42. Eh? So the highest level is 16.7. So you can see it reaches to this end. So this shows a leukocytosis. It means a lot of pr uh, production of white blood cells eh, to fight the bacteria. And then the other one is the neutrophils. The neutrophils is another type of white blood cells. They are produced a lot when, when there is an infection and you can see it is 33. 33 is definitely higher than 12, the upper range. So this two shows that the dog has neutrophilia, leukocytosis, which means there's a bacterial infection of the blood, a severe one. Now, as far as you can see, the, the, even the lymphocytes has increased for, uh, to, to about uh, 5.9. It's a bit high, uh, 5.9. And uh, the maximum should be 5.1. Okay, that's lymphocytes, which is an, an, another white blood cell to, to fight the bacteria. Now, the interesting thing is the monocytes. The monocytes has increased. Uh, to 3.06 where normally the highest is 1.12 now the increase in monocytes shows that this dog has an infection for some time a chronic infection and so the monocytes has increased in numbers now so in conclusion white blood cell abnormal distribution which is a increase in white blood cells and this is the white blood cells and the uh, band neutrophils, which is also for bacteria, fight against bacteria, also, also abnormal. And these two are reflected in the figures here. The total white cell count, do you zoom in? Is uh, definitely high, 42, and the neutrophil is 33. Okay, so this is the bacteriemia. And now we look at the platelets. Platelets, there is a abnormal platelets in the sense that they are aggregated N normally platelets they don't clump together if there's no problem huh? no 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 medical problem so the platelet is clumped but it's still within the normal range so it's from 0 0.14 to 0 0.46 so the platelets is still not high or not low it's, it's within the normal range now we look at the K 
kidney. Eh? Now the kidney, I can show that the kidney, the creatinine is an important one. It's low, eh? it's low 40. When it should be 44, the lowest, eh? 44. And it's, the urea is also low 1.4 instead of 2.5. Okay, so there is some ki kidney abnormalities. Disorder of the kidney due to this infection, pyometra. Infection of the womb. Now the liver enzymes are okay. They are they're between the normal range. The ALT, AST and ALKP. So you can see they are within the normal range. So yesterday it came in, there was no discharge. So so we will look at the history yesterday. 14, uh, it came in at 6 pm. Now there was uh, no no discharge but the complaint was not eating and vomiting for three days. Huh? Three days. And there was some difficulty in breathing but not very serious. So it's this these three signs and symptoms. Then I did the abdominal palpation, which I felt the abdomen and there was no pain, no pain and no swelling. So I I I would say that uh, there was no abdominal pain and no vaginal discharge. But the history is that it's on heat one month ago. Now a dog not, not sterilized on heat one month ago and showing signs of false pregnancy. False pregnancy occurs about four to six weeks after the heat. So this shows that the dog was really on heat. Now the owner says he cannot find any vaginal discharge yesterday and I, I couldn't find any. Yesterday when I, when I checked here, there was no no discharge, huh? no discharge. But uh, after giving the drip, IV drip and antibiotics, as you can see, there, there's some sticky discharge here, which uh, might, not, might not be obvious on the white paper, but you can see that the discharge is here, sticky one, which has come out uh, from the uterus, the womb. So the diagnosis is open pymetra. The treatment is to remove the the uterus. Uh. So we are awaiting the owner's uh, permission to, to do it. If uh, if not, then what happens is the dog will be most likely recovered from the bacterial infection with antibiotics, uh, or it may die, or she may die. It all depends on whether whether she can recover from the infection. Uh. So in some cases, they do recover without surgery, but then. Then the whole thing, whole cycle repeats again. You can see the stickiness here. The, the pus starts to form again at the next heat. And the next heat, and then, uh, then the dog still will suffer the same thing, vomiting and uh, not eating. And also uh, anemia, as you can see, wait, look at the, I forgot about that. As you can see, the, the red blood cells, uh, RBC, RBC is low. 5.5 compared to 5.65 the lowest uh, the hemoglobin hemoglobin which is 12.8 is a bit lower 13.1 uh, and also the hematocrit which is an indicator of dehydration is 34 which is low that means the dog was dehydrated as well now after the IV drip, you can see that uh, actually, actually the 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 gums and pink. You see the membranes are pink, so the anemia is not so so severe, and there is no dehydration. Capillary refill time less than one second. Okay. Now the swelling on the right face, this could be due to the dog rubbing the ear. You can see this is unusual case where the whole ear canal, uh, the opening of the vertical canal is filled with tumors, I call it, uh, the ear tumors. And so it's obstructed the whole vertical canal. It might have spread down. It's spread down and then the dog is very, uh, very feeling very itchy and so he's rubbing himself. Uh. So there's a swelling here. There you can see the swelling. So the owner told me the swelling. Here. So the problem is, there are two, two medical problems. One is the infection of the ears due to the obstruction of the ear canal as you can see there's no air 
they cannot flow out the the, the whole thing is obstructed the vertical canal eh? so any discharge cannot come out unless you remove all these uh, all these tumors eh? they, they, they will need to be a vertical ear canal ablation remove the whole thing now the other part this is a nine year old females not sterilized dog the other part you can see so according to the owner it appears only recently eh? less than one year and keep on growing now you can see this is a very rare condition I have not seen many of this eh? and this one appears on the opening of the vertical canal so it blocks the whole whole, whole opening and there's pass actually you can see the pass so you can see the pass on there the yellow pass so this part is not so swollen you can see eh? it's not so swollen so this one this one is probably what the owner say is true less than six months but this part you can see the swelling you know compare you compare the left and right you see this part is swollen you see it looks directly so in conclusion the dog would be feeling painful here on the right side but for this dog the more life-threatening problem is the infection of the uterus huh? the, and it's called open pymetra and the drip has been given this is the urine and uh, we still continue the drip the dexosaline and we did give glucose and uh, Hartman will continue and I give B12 B12 I mean B12 so uh, antibiotics and probably a, a, an anti fever we will wait for the owner to come and decide whether she wants surgery or not okay to finish it